Hello everybody, it's me, Billy Speed Force Productions, and welcome to another Sonic Unleashed playthrough video. Uh, last time we went through Shamar and did the day stage for that. So now in this part, we're actually going to go to Empire City and get that taken care of. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do the day stage until we do the night stage. So let's go do that first. First of all, can we just appreciate the music that's in this hub world, at the stage at night? It's really nice. I really like it. Ooh, can I do that? Oh, I can't do it. Okay, I just need to level up, I guess. Alright, with that said, let's go into Skyscraper. Act 1. Well, Skyscraper Scamper, I think that's what it's fully called, but I always just call it Empire City. Alright, let's go into our first battle. Now, I'd say this is one of my favorite uh, Werehog Sages, actually. Yeah, I just, I just really like this one. Oh, I messed that up. I pressed the wrong button. Jeez, my health. Oh my goodness, my health. I need to make sure I get enough rings. There we go. That's taking care of that. Take care of you. And you're done. Okay, uh, let me just look around for anything I might need. Plus, you never know, there might be some collectibles. I don't see any, so I think that'll be it. Alright then. Like that for the heck of it. Yeah, there's nothing here for that. I really like the look of this stage. It's it's really it's a really lovely to look at. Like it actually looks like somewhere that you could actually just go to. Although I don't know what's going up with the whole underground the the ground there. I don't know, it just doesn't look right to me. It actually does give me a little bit of a Spider-Man 2000 vibes, where you couldn't see below the buildings. Because of like the fog and thing, the fog and stuff. Which they made that an actual like plot thing, which I think that was quite cool. And then the sequel just did whatever the heck it wanted. I only played like the very beginning of the second Spider-Man 2000 game, so yeah. And plus, I actually never uh, beat the uh, the, t the original 2000 game. I would like to though. I think that would be might be a nice idea for a video at some point. Yeah, I'll, I'll consider that. I'll consider doing. A playthrough in the 2000 game and trying to beat it. I remember I was pretty close at one point, so I, I think I can do it. At least that's what I figured. Here we go. Oh, I see a sun metal. I have to get it. That uh, now. Ooh. Wait for that to go. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay, move, 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 move. Okay, I have to be careful on these ledges. Are they called ledges? I'm not very smart, you guys. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to climb back up. I think I immediately fall. I wish I could just move the camera normally for this. As long as it's not like the spike ones, it could be okay. Ooh, careful, careful. There we go. That's better. Okay, we're safe. For now. Oh, look at that. That was a nice hit. Ouch. 
There we go. Alright, that's that taken care of. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what could I talk about in this session? I can't really think of anything at the moment. I definitely think there is something that I probably just haven't talked about yet. I mean, it could be, um... The fact that we're now, like, a month away from Sonic Frontiers coming out. Oh, wait! I remember there was the announcement of the, uh, the DLC stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's, let's talk about that. So... Um... So we had some things announced that what bits of DLC we're going to be getting next, and if you're subscribed to the Sega Newsletter, uh, you'll be able to get like exclusive content from that newsletter, which will be a little after the game has come out. And what it allows you to get is the sub shoes from Sonic Adventure 2, which I think that's really cool, because I, I love those shoes. Those shoes are really nice. So having them in, so having them in Frontiers, I think that would be really cool. I mean, I thought they were cool to see in a uh, Sonic Forces, but it wasn't as cool because it was on the custom hero and not Sonic. So them this time around being part of the customization for Sonic, that makes it a lot better. Which I think the customization for Sonic Frontiers is actually going to be really good and very, very promising of what it will bring. Because, like, I remember they showed off a cosmetic that you can get, which I think was based off a VTuber, I think? I'm not 100% certain on that. But from what I can remember, the the the... the the cosmetics were very different to say like what we got from uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate, for example. Because uh, that game, all they really did was just swap the textures on the shoes. They didn't really do anything else. So for them to this time around actually... Uh, change the shoes so they're not just Sonic's shoes but with a different texture. We actually get something more worthwhile. So yeah, that was actually really cool of them to put in the soap shoes. So that that'll be definitely really cool. And that's like that's definitely something I'm gonna be wearing once I get given the code to put them on my character. Oh, Sonic. Oh, my character, what am I saying? It's not a customizable character. Imagine if they did bring back the custom hero, though. I wonder how, like, how they go about it. Because I know they didn't want to necessarily make it so the custom hero was a better character looking, like, visually for, than, like, say, Sonic and all the other characters. Which, I can understand that, but at the same time, it does create a bit of limitations compared to what people would have wanted from a customizable Sonic character. Especially if like they want to like recreate their OCs and all that. Which I know some people have attempted and we they've gotten pretty close to that. But obviously it just was not what people were looking for. I mean, it, people still love the custom hero just for the customization that I was even there alone. But it would have been a bit nicer if we just got a bit more to it than what was given to us initially. Uh, and then there was the recent announcement as of me recording this. The, uh,. The Monster Hunter DLC, where Sonic gets like two new outfits, and there's actually a cooking mini game, which that's interesting because uh oh, I need to flip the switch. Which uh, it actually makes sense for them to do Monster Hunter because not only because Sonic Frontiers is an open world based game, but 
Sonic has actually previously collaborated with Monster Hunter. Because uh, I recall they had like the cat thing that's in that game, like dressed up as Sonic. So to, for them to do a Monster Hunter DLC in a Sonic game, it just comes full circle. Which I think that's quite brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really brilliant idea. Uh, let's see. Um, I remember <laughs> I remember seeing a tweet before doing this session, actually, where they said that Azuka lied to people, saying that would people be able to cook things in Sonic Frontiers. But I, I'm guessing maybe they just didn't think about it at the time. Maybe the DLC was surely being made after all that was done. Maybe. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm interested to see the DLC, and I'll definitely cover it when I get around to playing the game, because I think it will come out, I think, later in that same week that the game comes out, so I'll try my best to, like, cover everything in that game, because I want to, like, explore the place, do stuff, and, like, And try and like beat it, of course, and like make videos and all that, even a review as well. And since I have an Elgato capture card, Elgato, whatever, I can do it. I definitely can do it. And I look forward to doing it. Let's see, is there anything down here? I don't see anything here. But what about over here? I think this is just in case I fell. Yeah, there's nothing. Alright. I just flip the switch then. Okay. Good. Oh, careful. I don't see. God, I love the jazz music in this game. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I have to be very careful if I want to do this one right. Alright, let's do it. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh no! Oh my goodness. I get so nervous doing this one. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Combo this. Combo this beast. There we go. We got him. Look at that. And I got my own leash back. Now I just need to make sure I don't mess up. Because I'll admit, there's been times where I mess up in this stage. Especially from this point on in the game. But I still do my best. And... Yeah, that's all anyone can really do, really. Um, I think that's everything in here. I like, I just like smashing all the stuff. It's, I just think it's quite fun. Okay. Careful. There you go. Okay. There we go. We're fine. Level up. No, no level up. Uh, check one is what I meant to say. God. I still have broken English even when I don't intend to. Oh, that won't come up. Okay, let's combo him. Combo. Quick time event I meant. There we go. Look at that. Let's see, I think that's it. Okay. Oh, I couldn't do it then. I was too late. Alright, Sonic, be careful. We've got spikes here. Oh god, we've got the ones that fall. I don't like those. Okay, that gave me enough time. I'm fine. 
Oh. oh god, that was close. That was so close. It's okay. We're doing fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Made it. Okay, we're safe. How did he notice me, but this one didn't? And then again, I wasn't facing the right way. Oh! You cheeky son of a gun. Alright, there we go. You're done. Boom! Alright. Okay. Uh, going back to the Sonic... Frontiers DLC stuff. I'm hoping we get more DLC, and I'm curious as to whatever DLC they could potentially do for the game. Whether it be like more cyberspace stages, uh, extra worlds to explore. I'm down for any of that. If not, we at least have the modding scene, because I think the modding scenes, that's gonna go crazy. I mean, I don't think we've seen a Sonic game go as crazy with the modding scene as, say, uh, Sonic Generations and Forces. Because, like, those games add on so much, and Generations especially. It, it's like they've turned the game into what we had, into, like, m more than what we could have asked for. Which is amazing. I mean, they even did things that have, were not even in the original game that some probably thought was going to be impossible to do. Which, that's insane to me. Like, like having rolling physics, the momentum, the uh, all these stages, being able to like recreate like previous Sonic games. All that stuff is just insane to me. Like, like, I can't believe how good the modding scene for Sonic Generations is, and it's still going strong to this very day. Like, you can still find brand new mods for Sonic Generations, and it still is an absolutely incredibly made game. There we go. Ooh, let's go over here first. I want to get that moon medal. Uh, but, uh, Sonic Forces as well. Uh, that game... Because, uh, say what you want about it, but the modding scene was definitely needed for that game. Because we're able to get not only stages, we even got, like, extra stuff relating to, like, the story and all that. Which... That's really good. Because we needed that. And plus, they make it more enjoyable to play, the physics being better, the stages can be longer. We get all of that, and that makes me really happy, because like, I really want Sonic Forces to be a really good game, but then what we got in the end just didn't do that for me. I mean, there is stuff I like about Sonic Forces, but most of what I like about Forces is very minimum, if you know what I mean. Like, like it's it's a shame, really, because I think I think if they had enough time and dedication to it, we could have had something really good. But alas, we didn't. We didn't get that. As much as I would have liked. But thankfully, there's mods that are fixing the game, making it the game that it should have been in the first place. I think the only thing that's a little finicky to do is like redoing the story unless you like have people involved to help. But I mean like say like having the original voices for the for the characters. Of course like not everyone's gonna be able to be as lucky to get those people to voice for them and stuff. 
So, yeah, you have to, like, excuse it all and all that. Let's see. Ooh, what's this over here? Is there anything? Ooh, there's an art book. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I don't- I don't want to- I don't want to drop. I don't want to drop. Can I- can I- Okay, okay, that was the receipt. I don't recall if I ever picked that book up before, but I did it. Uh, I have enough lecture lives, I don't need that. Okay, I'm gonna go and press the switch. I'm gonna need to if I'm gonna progress. But, um, yeah, actually, one of the recent mods I recall seeing was, like, uh, they had stages. The, the stages that already existed in the game, but this time around, you actually just get to go a bit longer in them. Like, like say if they were, like, unfinished versions of those stages that were meant to be in the final game, but they didn't put them in. That's what, that's what this mod is doing. So you get to see more of the stage... And then what was initially given to us. Plus there's some now making like improvements to the music, uh, making classic Sonic play better, even giving him a better model too, I'll be honest. And then there's like... I'd say probably the coolest one of all. Oh god, no, 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 no! 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 Are you kidding me? Right as we're nearing the end of the stage, too. This is ridiculous. And that destroyed all my shield. So that's cool. Alright, I'll break stuff so that way I can have a chance. Probably not. That was just great. That was great. All right, this should. Uh oh, I was doing so well. How do I mess up like that? I wish I could tell, but I can't. I mean, as long, I think as long as I get stuff so that way, I can still do it. Okay. Let's finish you off. This is what you get for killing me. There! You're done! Oh my god. Well, there goes my S rank. I'll be surprised if I still got an S rank after that. I probably won't, I'll be perfectly honest. If I do, then great. But I don't see I don't see myself getting. Let's see, what do you give us? A B. Yep. And it was all because of that last enemy. You'd think you could do it. But then you find out, no, that's not how it works. You're doing it this way. Which, that really annoys me. It really does. See. Okay. I think that's it for this. We don't have a cutscene, do No, we don't. Alright, but I can get the Sun and Moon medals since we're here. Since I don't think I've got the ones from the nighttime. Let's see. Yeah. Where are. Oh, there's one. That's one. Now, just where is the second one? <laughs> Sonic being the werehog in the water here, that's just funny. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is like the smallest hub world in the game, I think. Actually, no, I don't think it is. I've... No, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the smallest, it's not. Because there's definitely other ones. Alright, now let's head back to the professor. I think he's going to tell us to go into the daytime now, I think. 
That's what I think at least. Ooh, while we're at it, let's let's look for some sun medals. If I can remember where they are. Dun, 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 dun. Um, oh yeah, there is another mod I remember someone making for forces, which I wish was actually in the final game to begin with. Like, it honestly should have been in the final game, but for some reason they didn't do it. The Chaos Zero boss fight. That, mo that, like, that stage, I mean, no, not that stage, that boss should have been in the game. But for some reason, they didn't do it. So that made Chaos a total waste, and there was no point to having... There was, like, no point of having Chaos in it. Like, what was the overall point of having Chaos if you're not going to utilize him for, like, say, a boss fight or something? Or even make him story relevant? Because, like, there wasn't anything story related to Chaos for to just look like justify him being there other than infinite was able to create him, which in my opinion is not enough to give a set of satisfying reason to having him in the game uh, isn't there an upstairs bit somewhere I definitely know there's an upstairs somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Looking around. Oh, there's one. Uh, let me just check the rest of up here. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything up here. Oh, that's one way of getting back up, I guess. Okay. Let's see. I think I know what the last one may be. Just have to go all the way to where Professor Pickle will be. Should either be here or should be the other side. One of the two. Oh, one other mod I remember seeing for Sonic Forces was like, uh, it's like for the episode Shadow DLC where you actually just go through like previous events that happened with Shadow. So like Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Adventure 2, uh, Sonic 06. Not necessarily in that order, but you know what I mean. But um, yeah, so that's that was really cool of a stage and I wish that was actually what they did in the final game. Oh, we got an Adabat. Okay, now we can go to the day stage and night stage of Shamar and Empire City. Well, the day stage of Empire City and the night stage of Shamar. So we have more options. And we also have uh, Adabat. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. Let's go. I want to do Empire City next. Let's do that. Let's go. Hey guys, Tails here. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and consider subscribing to Speed Force Productions for more. Catch you later.